Chan mail, Chan mail. Everybody look at Chan mail. There's anything behind me that wasn't there. I need to enter again. Okay, so I actually have China Mail yet again. If Hello, you guys Anna. Have been fans for a while, and you should know this cat. All right, so these actually came in the mail over the weekend while we were busy doing cookie booths. So I thought um, I would open these on camera with you and see what we have because I have no clue what is in these packages. So it's kind of exciting. She got a new easel, so she is like super thrilled. I feel like very proud of it. She painted it, so. I feel like three pieces of art already. Yeah. Quickly. Now I'm cutting open envelopes. I made this for a friend. I'm gonna give it to her like what? Now probably. I don't know when you're gonna give it to her. You've been done with it for a long time. She said she would want to ask me. Anyway, this took a long time. To you don't really need to see this guy. That's not interesting. But yeah, I did this using this. All right, so the first one we're going to crack into is, drum roll, what will we have? What will we have? Oh. Yes. Okay, so this is, I'm curious about this one because I think it's supposed to be a special um, drill, but I don't know. Yes, it is. All right, so we have the standard kit. I am opening drill. This is a, what size is this? It only has five stones. It's a really small one. Let me fix the plastic. See if you can get to the base in three, two, one. Ugh. Okay. This is not going to go well. See, this is why I don't open the paintings on camera because it's too hard to show you the picture. What is she doing? She's like swinging his head around. We do the drill. We have a black. Uh-oh. I don't know which direction this is supposed to go. Sometimes when you put them back down, it's the wrong side and it's really hard to get. And which is what I did. Silver. Darn it. Silver. A orange. And a another light orange and a small amount of it. Okay. We're back. Pretty, right? There's actually quite a bit of area that is going to be done. Yeah, it's mostly a pool. But I like that it's a special drill. Let me push this back a little bit. I need a little bit of space to uh, Isn't it pretty? sort these. Flash <laughs> Last Isn't that pretty? What was that? Oh, I'm having such a hard time with this piece of plastic. Alright, I guess this will have to be one I do next because I have just completely... I put the plastic back down on the wrong side, so I had to rip it up and it's all... Now the top of the plastic is all sticky too. Yeah. Oh. Last nice warning, but isn't that pretty? It's more vibrant color. All right, so we have mostly silver, some black, orange, two shades of orange, and some red for his nose. So he's going to be really, really, really pretty. It's only five. I mean, I guess it's like a 20. I think it's a 20 by 30 or 20 by 25. I don't know. I don't know. My brain is not working that direction right now, so... There's that one. So this one feels a little bit thicker. Let's see what we've got here. I always, does anybody else get nervous when you cut these bags up? And I'm, I've cut the canvas more than once. So I'm always afraid I'm going to cut where I'm not supposed to cut. Okay, so this one is, oh, this is a duplicate. Another standard kit. This one I bought for myself um, because, well, one of them is for me and one of them is for my niece. We are both 
sloth lovers. So she actually wants to do this herself. So um, I will not be completing this one. I'm going to mail this to her for um, her to do. She wants to try one. This is a 30 by 40. It's kind of big for her to do her first time, but um, she is very meticulous, and I know she will complete it whether she likes it or not because she loves the picture so much. So we have tons of green in this, and it's our plain packaging, no DMC codes, um, but there are 19 colors on this. Canvas. What am I doing here? Like, got myself all confused. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is the opening? So the pack, the printing is nice and clear on the drills. There's no DMC codes. <laughs> so we have some creamy tan colors. Caramel and a chocolate, a couple of chocolates there. Those are both kind of chocolatey colors. Really pretty orange. This is like a pale orange, not really peach. And then more brown. And then we have a chartreuse kind of color. And then we get into all of our greens for the background. So many shades of green. I love it. So all of these, this is more green than yellow. It looks yellow on camera, but it is more of a green, very pale. So this is going to be really, really pretty with all those shades of green. And then, of course, all the browns for the sloth. So this is a nice range of colors for it just being green and brown. That's... That's a lot of shading, so it's going to turn out really nice. And his little face is so cute. So cute. So that will be going away. It's going to go all the way to Kentucky. So I have to get that in the mail to her soon. What did I do here? Why is that? Is that really what those two now? Seems like a very small bag. Why is it not? We're just going to do that later. This is another really fat one. Yep, I almost cut the canvas. Twice. This one should be... Oh. Oh, oh I forgot about this one. How did I forget about this one? Ew, there's somebody's hair in here. <laughs> Okay, standard kit yet again. This one is along the lines with the Starry Night. But this is a portrait instead of a landscape. I have two. Um, I have the Starry Night and then I have the Starry Night um, with the bridge. I need to learn what that painting is actually called. And then this one is similar but it has um, trees and water. But I like, it's got, you know, it's kind of along the same lines as Starry Night. This is not, this is not a Van Gogh, but it goes along with it. And I like because it is portrait, whereas the other two are landscapes. So I think it would be a nice trio to put um, the Van Goghs on either side of this one. Plus I just love all the blue. It's just so pretty and so, just so pretty. So this is a 30 by 40. The DMC codes are printed on the canvas right here, but they are not printed on the packaging. So again, it has that plain packaging with just the little diamond printed on it. Get rid of someone's hair from China. So this is a very monotone, monochromatic I mean. That is the darkest blue. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Nope, this is black. 
So this is actually black. This is for the tree line. That's where the black will go. And then we have a really cool green, which is, I like that a lot. That's a cool color. And then we have a couple of buttery shades of yellow there. And then we go and in, start into our blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six shades of blue there. Another yellow and a brown. And then we have another shade of deep blue and another dark brown. And then another blue and another brown. So we have eight shades of blue. Is that what we counted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blues. So look at that. How pretty, right? So this is a really cool painting. I like it with it being over like a lake with the trees. I like that a lot. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. So we'll get this put away. That's what I did wrong with the sloth. These packages are a little bit wider than what I'm used to. Because with the other ones, you can get three across in this size bag. But this one, you can only do two because they are a wider bag. So let's quickly put our sloth colors away. So I can get her ready for her new home. Get her mailed out as quick as I can because I'm sure my niece is excited. She's probably forgotten all about it. Because mm. I had been waiting on it for quite a while. So that there. We have two more to look at. I should go pretty quick on this. I thought it would take a lot longer cutting them open. Maybe I'm not talking about it. Talk, talk, mm. talking about them as much. I have, well, with cookie season, I know y'all are sick of hearing about it because I am too. I am so tired. And it actually turns out I have a reason. I have been suffering with mono. Really. So some stinking germ-infested person coughed all over me and gave me mono. At the worst possible time, I could have it. So, of course, I have still been going nonstop because I can't. Cookies don't wait for mono to be healed. And then on top of that, I had a sinus infection um, at the same time. So, I am so worn down. I am just, it's not even funny. So, my brain is really fuzzy and I've been misspeaking a lot. It's just really aggravating. So hopefully <clears throat> this will, my doctor assures me that I am on the mend. Um, I've had a, a, one round of antibiotics so far um, and I am now taking a steroid to help me get that little boost back um, and get the rest of the mono kicked out. But I just, I still can't believe I have mono. I'm just like, Really? Not all? Okay, standard as usual. This one I'm really excited about too. I love the artwork on this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love all the, the highlighting in the feathers, the highlighting in the leaves. I love the colors of it. I just love everything about this piece. It is beautiful. It's a 30 by 40. It is 16 colors. I just love it. It's gorgeous. So pretty. And no DMC codes. Bummer. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see if the colors are true to the canvas. If we will have those kind of colors. Ooh, that's a pretty color. What color is that? Ooh, I like it. Okay, so this, 
Oh yeah, you can see it. It looks a little bit browner on camera than it actually is. It is a beautiful purple. Really, really pretty purple. So then we have blue and black and taupe. Oops, I'm too low. Sorry. Blue, black, taupe. This is kind of like a creamsicle color. Really pretty bright peachy orange. Then we have um, another taupe there in the middle. And then these are really odd greenish gray, I guess you could call it, which I'm guessing these are going to be the white highlight areas that I mentioned. Then we have a brown. There's some really interesting colors in this painting. This is um, kind of greenish cream color. Not really white, not really gray. It's, it's an interesting color. It's really cool. Then we have a pale blue and a charcoal gray. And then we have a purple and another yellow, peachy yellow. And then this is kind of a rust, a dark rust brown. And then we have a tiny bit of actual off-white. So those are the colors there. Happy with. I'm happy, happy, happy. Very nice selection. <clears throat> now, did was this actually three across? No. <sighs> and I am embarrassed in a way to admit um, my storage boxes for drills. They're cool. Yeah. Gotta quit buying these things. Gotta quit buying them. Because I store my packages. If you haven't watched my storage videos, go check them out. Because I think I have some kind of good ideas. They, it works really well for me. Um, but the way I store my drills in those boxes, they are full. So I've had to um, break out one of my plastic shoebox type boxes. But I, I am happy to report, I am controlling myself, I am not looking at new options on eBay. I have um, probably about 10 that are pending, and I swear this time I'm going to stop. Because I probably have about two months worth of mail. It'll probably take two months to get everything that um, has been bought over the last, well, over the last two months. So um, I have plenty of stuff to, for videos, so we don't have to worry about that. This one is a really pretty um, partial mandala, mandala. How do you pronounce it in your part of the world? My hillbilly tells me it's mandala. Whoa, thanks. He's not supposed to be climbing. How are you doing, bub? Say hi to everybody. Little handsome man. Can you believe this cat is only eight months old? He's gigantic. Look how big he is. Look how big he is. He's huge. Don't really? Rude. So rude. He's only eight months old. We guess. We're not even positive. He could be older than that. I don't know. But he was, he looked pretty small when he came to us, when he showed up on our back porch. Um, so our guess is he's about eight months old. So he's not done growing. <laughs> he's going to be a big boy. And he is so smart, like creepy smart. This cat is smart. So back to the Mandela. Mandala. Mandala. I don't know. It's really pretty. It's a partial, but it's a special drill. So it's a 30 by 30, and it has 11 different stones. And we have our little tweezers along with the regular 
kit. <gasps> oh, we have a catastrophe. Look. We have a broken bag, but I'm confident that it is only one bag. So give me a minute. Let me grab a tray. Okay, so let's carefully... Oh, there's one that escaped. And of course, it has to be the smallest stone that is broken open. These are teeny tiny um, teardrops. So careful, careful. Don't want to lose any. Because I do have a few of these left over from other projects, but not a whole lot. So I'm going to be extra, extra careful with this package. Okay, so this first one, ooh, these are cool. I haven't seen these before. Oh, these are really awesome. They're like an elongated marquee. They're a beautiful, <laughs> he's leaning up against the wall trying to lick himself, but he's licking the cone. So if you hear the little clicking sound, <laughs> It's the cone banging against the wall. Poor cat. Aren't these cool? And they're really, really pretty blue. I might have to do this one tonight when we get back from Girl Scouts. It's really neat. All right. So then we have just clear marquee, smaller ones. And we have the clear round with that are faceted with the aurora borealis finish so they are multi um, colored and then these are red <clears throat> faceted with the aurora borealis very pretty i like these a lot then we have our tiny ooh, don't lose those tiny white pearls Super small, super pretty. We have, I'm kind of glad these are individually, um, done individually like this because it's making it easier for me to not lose any of those spilled ones. So these are just standard yellow of the rhinestone variety. We have purple, ooh, those are pretty. Purple marquees or cat's eye, whatever you wanna, however you wanna describe those. Those are a really pretty purple color. We have a green faceted circle round with the Aurora Borealis finish on them. We have the orange faceted round with the Aurora Borealis. Super pretty. And we have these. These are so cool. I love these. I kind of wish you could do both sides, but I mentioned before that I might use these in shaker cards. I have some left over. So <clears throat> the gold is what go what shows on the canvas. So the clear is where you what you stick to the canvas. So these will be a gold uh, marquee shape for the piece. And then let me get out our broken bag, which I should have grabbed a Ziploc bag while I was grabbing the tray. Go ahead and get these out of here. And it kind of, I'm kind of wondering if maybe they knew it was broken because they actually hand wrote the number. All the others are printed on the computer, so I don't know. But look how many are spilled. So that could be disastrous to this canvas. Um, if I had lost all of these, I clearly would not have been able to finish the painting with that many missing. That is a lot. There is a lot. These are so small. That's going to be a time consuming part of the project is putting all of these in place. <clears throat> Come on, get out of there. Okay, I've got some static going on, so I'm going to pause and get the rest of these out, and I'll come back to you in a minute so you don't have to 
watch me get these out. Okay, all cleared up. So um, I'm just going to take a baggie and I'm going to write, it has another sticker on it, but I'm just going to scribble that out and then write the code. Hope that's right because that whoever writes they wrote their nine backwards if that's supposed to be a nine. So let's see. Y X Oh, I think that's one oh no that looks like zero nine seven. Oh no. Alright, so now we get to figure out. See, this is kind of good because you kind of get to see a troubleshooting issue. Well, here, let me show you these stones. You can see how small they are next to my finger. They are very tiny. But very pretty. I love that color. It's not, it's it's kind of gold. So, okay, now we get to go through and figure out what this number actually is. So these are 124, so I have to go down the list. So there is that one. <clears throat> Actually, let me find, do it the other way. Start from the bottom and work my way up. 139 is there, and forgive me, I keep because the glare of the lights. So 139 is there. So now I need 136, which is here. 124. So let me know, has this ever happened to you? Have you ever had to do this? Or you have to backtrack to figure out what you are missing? Oh no, this one doesn't even have, oh. see, now this one, I didn't even notice, doesn't even have a number on it. And this is the broken bag, the code for the broken bag. So now we have two problems we have to fix. So 109, is not there, but this is where the special drills are nice because it usually is the shape of the stone. So 109 is missing. I do not have a 109, but this is a round stone. See number seven there on the Code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this on my canvas and I'm going to kind of match it up and it is the right size. So this is going to become 109. So Y X 109. All right. So that was easy. Okay. So there's that one. So now we are at 107, which is right here, so that's the yellow ones. 106, which is the green ones. And here we have 097, which is this teardrop shape. Look at that. See that on my finger, see how small that is? Um, so if you look on the code, right here, number four, you can see the shape of it. So that tells me that most likely that is the number 097, which I said I couldn't find 097 on here. I'm telling you, foggy brain, foggy brain. So let's continue on. 83 is right here. 58 are the pearls. And then 195 is the yellow. So 097, which is what I wrote, ends up being correct. So my little freak out there was unfounded but easily solved. So this is gonna be a lot. There's so many of these. So many. All right. And it doesn't look like there's that many on here. Oh yeah, I guess there, there they are. Yeah. So that was an easy solution to what could have been catastrophic. So let's get these back in their proper envelope. And make sure one thing that I forgot to mention before is um, wait a minute, what do I do here? Oh, where is oh 
y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, I am such a mess. Oh, so you just want to make sure that you have the code, this code right here, that matches the code on your canvas right here. You want to make sure that is printed clearly before, if you do not, because I keep my canvases separate from my drills. That way my canvas stays flat. I have a list um, that I keep of my canvases. I have a list I keep of my drills. The way I list the drills is strictly by this number. The way I list my canvases is by description. So if I just have it in my head, I want to work on one of my owls. I can go through my list, look at the description, go find that owl, and then I know to find the code, I can look at my book, find out what box it's in, and go right to it. <clears throat> so if you separate your drills, make sure you are checking that the code on your drills matches the code on your canvas before you separate them or you will be in a world of tears. Because trust me, that is not something you want to try to figure out months down the road. Oh, I can't even imagine. Okay, so I found another package that needs to be opened. So we're going to open it. Oh, this actually has the description written on it that I can, and I know which one it is. So I'm glad this one is here. This one must have come today while I was at the doctor because it wasn't with my normal pile. So this is another one I have seen a lot, a lot. She is everywhere. And I have been putting up, oh, wait, no, this is the different one. Okay. This one I have not seen a lot everywhere, but this kind of goes along with the one that you see everywhere. But I had to get this for Emily, my little artist. Uh, let me get it smoothed out here. Yeah, this one, I, this is the only time I've ever seen this one, and I had to jump on it because we'll ex when I show you, I'll explain it a little bit more. But there is another one out there like this that just has butterflies around her that I have coming as well because I figured they would be cute side by side, hung side by side. Okay, so this is the artwork. She's a brunette and she has colored pencils stuck in her ponytail, her bun, whatever. So I, this reminded me of Emily as soon as I saw it. It's got the colored pencils on the side. And, of course, the butterflies in her hair. I just, it's so cute. It's a 30 by 40. There are 15 colors. And the DMC codes are printed on the canvas. Getting quite a few of those today, huh? So that's kind of cool. So this one will not take long because it is only 15 colors. But the fact that it is 15 colors, it's going to have some nice shading in it. And um, since it's a partial, that's what will make it go quicker. But I like that the colored pencils along the side of the image are drilled. <clears throat> so it's just the background that, should, that is not being done. Okay, so we have the plain packaging, but the codes are on the canvas, so it's okay. Um, I am seeing greasiness on these packages, which bums me out. But maybe I'll have um, extras of these and I, I'll, I won't have to mess with the oily drills. It's just uh, so annoying. Washing them, waiting for them to dry. They still sometimes aren't completely unstuck to each other. The rest of them look okay. Let's see the other greasiness. They have that weird smell to them. So we have a really cool green, a couple purples. This is probably 666. Yes, it is. It's my favorite. This is my favorite red. So pretty, nice and bright. Then we have three peach colors that are in different shades, which I'm assuming is her back. So this will be the back of her neck and her back. And we have a really pretty green. A dark brown and then this um, burgundy color 
it looks kind of more mauve on camera, but it's more burgundy. And um, yeah, so that must be her hair. There's a lot of them. So it doesn't look like 15 colors, but it is, I promise. The packaging counts, or the labels on the bag tell me that. So there's that. So that's our last one. I do have <clears throat> others that I need to, um, do I have, oh wait, no, I, well, no, it's not done. I'll wait till it's done to share. I was going to say I have one I can show you, but it's not quite done. Um, I did one for my mom for her birthday, and I loved it so much, I had to get a second one for myself. So I have been working on that one to finish, and um, yeah. So that's the one I'm talking about. It's, it's almost done, but not quite. <clears throat> so there we have it. Should we go through these real quick again? There we go. You can see the pencils up close. The mandala. Can you hear the birds outside? Emily left the door open. Our beautiful owl. Really excited about this one. This is going to be really pretty. And our awesome Starry Night look-alike. Knock off, however you want to say it. I like it, though. And they all three are the same colors, so it's going to work out great. Our little sloth friend. Super, super cute. Love it. And then our awesome tiger with the special drills. So only two special drills today. The mandala and the tiger. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you real soon. Um, I am working on the um, 2,000 subscriber prize. I already know what the prize is going to be. And I have been collecting comments um, over the past several videos. So that is going that will be coming up soon. I decided to kind of do it. Um, just strictly on comments, but I didn't want to announce which videos those would be because um, in our last giveaways, those videos that I mention a giveaway or a winner on in the description, they have less views. So that seems to turn people off and I didn't want to do that. So I just wanted to um, kind of be a little bit sneaky on that one um, so hopefully that won't upset anyone but if you are a regular commenter um, I wanted to um, kind of reward you in that sense um, because you are paying attention to videos and you are asking questions and that's what makes me feel awesome um, is actually communicating with you and not just knowing that there's you know 2,000 views on a video. I like it when you all leave me comments and ask me questions. Um, if I can give you a link to where I find a painting, I'm more than happy to do that. So never hesitate to ask if you can't find it on eBay. Um, the way I find my paintings on eBay is I just type into the search. I type in diamond painting and I just, I filter from newest listing um, just because it's, there's thousands of them and there's so many on there. And I just go through, start from the newest listing, and I just go through it. If I find one I like, I click on it. I look at the picture. If it does not show me what the actual canvas looks like, I, I move away. Because I have been burned way too many times. Um, even if I love the painting, the artwork, if I can't see the actual canvas, I, I, re I highly recommend not to buy them if you can't see the actual canvas. Um, because a lot of times it will be a lot smaller. It will be a partial. Um, <clears throat> I have a good example of that. Hang on. Okay, this is the this is the reason I no longer buy paintings unless I see the canvas. I thought this was going to be a like 30 by 40 full drill. Well, as you can see, it is more of a 25 by 25, and there are two sunflowers and the birds. That's it. I still love it. It's still hanging on my wall because I love sunflowers and I love cardinals. Um, but this is why if I cannot see the actual canvas, I do not 
bid on the auction. You can um, change if you don't want to wait for an auction to end. That's kind of the fun of it. Part of the fun of it for me is waiting for the auction to end and seeing if I win it for what I want it for or if I get outbid, whatever. Um, there are a lot of buy it nows and you can change your filter at the top to only show you buy it nows, only show you auctions, show you all of them. It's, you can, you can do all your filters that way. But like I've said a hundred times, 90% of the paintings that I have showed you on my videos have come from eBay. Um, I have gotten one big order from Peggy by, I've been sent several other paintings from other companies. Um, but unless I specify, they've all come from eBay. So you can get a lot of really good ones. You just have to be careful. You have to be patient. Um, and I'm noticing that it takes sometimes two weeks to get a painting. Sometimes it takes six to eight weeks to get a painting. So it really just depends on, you know, the luck of the draw. So anyway, have fun with it. Please ask me any questions you have. I will answer them if I have the answer. Um, if not, I will try to find the answer before I answer you. So I have, um, I know I still have some comments that I haven't made it to yet, but um, just bear with me. I will get to you. Um, if you want to check on our Facebook page, you can message me through Facebook. Um, you can email me directly. It's, you know, I've got several options for you there. So just please, I like talking to y'all. I like getting to know you. And um, that's the main reason I started doing this is because I wanted to reach out to people and share my passion with um, everybody. So have fun and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Okay.